nature versus nurture debate. This debate has been going on for centuries. Are we shaped more by our nature, which is our genetics, or by nurture, by our environment? So in this video, I wanted to explain the nature versus nurture, and then you can decide for yourself whether you think that your traits are shaped mostly by nature, or by nurture, or a little bit of both. So how are we shaped? How do you think we are shaped? Um, it, are we a shape by our, gen, our genetics or our environment? If we have the genetic traits in our genes, do we have to manifest them? Do we have to display them? Or how much of the role uh, does environment play in the genetic expressions of these traits? And how can we control the expression of our genetic traits? So genetics can determine many things. Genetics can determine our personality, our intelligence, what we look like, and some, any, some other traits too that are a part of us. But how much is shaped by being a part of our genetic code or by the environment that we live in. So when I say that our traits are being expressed as a balance of both nature and nurture, that they both play both important. So for example, I wear contacts or glasses. Everybody in my dad's side of the family wears glasses and half of everybody in my mom's side of the family wears glasses. And so I ended up wearing glasses, same with my brother. So were we doomed from the beginning that we were gonna have to wear glasses or contacts? So what contributed to that? Was it in our genes or in my genes and that there's nothing I can do about it? Or maybe the amount of television I watched or reading in the dark or um, other habits or behaviors that I did, did that contribute to my wearing glasses? I don't know. Perhaps, I'm sure that both of them together shaped the need for my glasses and contacts. And even the fact that my eyesight has gotten progressively worse over the years, and with the introduction of more computers and more screen time, that definitely has not helped. So I would like to say that the environment does play a role. Probably in my genetics, it was there, but that the behaviors that I also took on by just staring at screens, watching a lot of television when my parents told me, hey, you know, let's not watch too much TV, and that that played a role in my need for glasses. Another trait that I have is my sweet tooth. So one thing that I really did like growing up is just candy. I know Halloween probably didn't help that with much. So with one of my favorites are my these cola bottles. I love cola bottles. This one has remained unopened for a while because I'm rewarding myself for getting things done before I start on it. But that's my favorite and I also really like chocolate. This one's almost done. Yeah, I wonder who ate most of that. But one thing I will say is growing up that yeah, both my parents, they had sweet tooth. They, My dad, he could sit down and eat a whole box of seeds candy and it wonder what happened to the box and my mom she loves a good piece of cake and cookies and she would buy that for us and so I think that our environment when she did bring home the cakes and the cookies and the candy did not help at all but then when we started getting more cavities and she's my mom thought, okay, you know what, it's time to cut it down. And so she started buying less. And then since it wasn't around, that my sweet tooth started to go down. And then I learned that um, I didn't like going to the dentist to get my cavities taken care of. And I learned about diabetes. And then by the time college came around, I thought, you know, it's time to decrease the sugar content in my diet. And as I just got older, especially now, my metabolism has slowed down a lot, and that I realized I shouldn't be having that much sugar. And so it got pretty much reduced. And I am not going to say eliminated because I would love a piece of good cake and cookie and my cola bottles every once in a while. So, but is that genetic? Maybe, you know, since both my parents had it, but can I control my environment? Absolutely. I can choose not to buy this stuff, but I did. 
And, but then I tell myself, and I try to be very disciplined that I'm not going to eat it until I finish my week's worth. And I'll just reward myself with like five pieces or six, maybe seven. So that's an illustration of nature or nurture, our traits, what we're born with. But can it be shaped by environment? Can we control it so that we can affect some of the expression of our traits? I think so. What about you?